Hello everyone and welcome back to Send It's Weather channel. Today we are going to be doing a little summer update once again um, because the weather at the moment is pretty quiet, as you might add. I mean, there's been some pretty big thunderstorms down south today, uh, which I did a post about on the Discord. Join it down below. Um, uh, but yeah, there's been some pretty bad thunderstorms today in parts of the south and southwest. We did predict it though on that video. It's got a lot of dislikes. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to be doing a summer forecast today or a summer update. And um, we're going to have a look at the CFS model um, to see what it is showing um, for the summer period and um, just to see if we can identify any trends. Now, the trends from the previous updates have been for it to be quite volatile or they're quite a volatile summer. Um, in terms of July, and Ju June and July have been the main months of volatility, and also could be quite warm at times, but or even hot, reaching 30 degrees. But what does today's update bring? Well, let's have a look. Uh, thank you all very much for tuning in to today's video. Uh, if you do enjoy the content on the channel, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I do appreciate your continued support. Anyway, we're starting on the 1st of June, I know it's not technically uh, meteorological, that starts on the 22nd on the summer solstice, or the 23rd, but we're starting on the 1st because it's just summer in it. <laughs> um, but you can see we're on a cool note actually to start with. High pressure centred to our west, low pressures towards our east, winds are in from a gentle northwesterly. So nothing ridiculous to start with, but it is a little bit unsettled. But as we go beyond that, you'll see... High pressure remains out to our west and southwest. Winds remaining from the west or northwest. So remaining pretty cool. You can see the zero degree ice firm into northern Scotland now. That's pretty cool actually for the time of year. But high pressure for the first and second week of June then with this remain out to our west, keeping it cool and the jet stream on a northwest southeast alignment. So we're actually bringing in areas of low pressure from off the Atlantic. Um, by the 14th, we've got a cutoff low setting up to our west, just to the south of Greenland. That's bringing in mild temperatures but also some rain to parts of the west and the northwest it's a pretty unsettled start with the uh, with this run um looks like a pretty unsettled june it could be because we're bringing up the wind from the southwest and we are bringing in the 10 degree ice firm it could be a little bit thundery uh, particularly in the east and the southeast possibly uh with that area of low pressure but again you know it's, it's obviously an experimental model and it's all to be determined but um, we maintain relatively average temperatures, really. Um, low pressure continues to try and battle in from off the Atlantic. There's an area of low pressure on the 22nd. Um, that's bringing some wet weather, particularly to the north of the country. Um, but you can see, again, high pressure just to the south, and, and then it sends to the top of the country, just to the south. Winds are in from the west or southwest. It's not too bad, but it's not nothing ridiculous. But you can see on the 29th of June, we do start to see a change. Low pressure's going further northwards, high pressure's... Over to our east, winds are in from the southwest, and this is bringing in the 10 degree ice firm. Hello, <laughs> making a visit. Um, you can see the 10 degree ice firm covering the country, could get the temperatures into the high 20s, maybe even the low 30s to start July. That'd be a pretty nice start to July, wouldn't it? We maintain the wind in from the southwest, though, low pressure remains to our north, and we remain pretty dry. However, that high pressure does begin to move further westwards, and we do bring in more of a northwesterly. So, see that 10 degree ice firm a couple of days before gets cleared away by slightly fresher and cooler air masses. Nothing ridiculous, uh, but it does allow more low pressure systems to move in. So, on the 7th of July, for example, again, remember it's experimental, don't shout at me, it's just a bit of fun. Low pressures to the east and high pressures to the west. Winds are in from a northwesterly or northerly direction. So, pretty chilly. Uh, well, say pretty chilly. Obviously, I'll get shouted off for that as well. I get shouted off for anything these days. Um, but no, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Take a joke. No, low pressure um, sinks, though, and that brings cooler air masses in from the north. Um, going beyond that, low pressure just sits around the country and just to the south. That could be quite thundery. Low pressure just over and to the, um, to the east of the country. And that is actually quite a weak low, but you can see the 10 degree ice firm into much of the country in the north. That could be bringing some more thundery showers. So that could be quite interesting. Again, could be quite thundery on, on the Thursday the 10th and the Friday the 11th if this came off. Um... But low pressure again remains out. Well, high pressure remains out to our west. Um, low pressure continues to rattle in for off the Atlantic, keeping it very unsettled. But then by the 21st of July, we're back into a southwesterly, bringing in more 10 degree ice firm action again. High pressure centered right to the south. That looks very warm um, on the 21st there. Low pressure again, though, makes its a a attack again from off the Atlantic, flattens that high pressure to our south, and we turn more unsettled into the final week of July. And um, there we go. 
So, to start August, low pressure remains to our west. It does begin to get faced off, face off against this high pressure over Eastern Europe. And um, then there's a battleground, but we're bringing in the tender ice firm. And then look at this. On the 2nd of August, a proper battle going on. Um, we've got high pressure to our north and east, low pressures cut off to our south, winds are in from a proper east or southeasterly direction, and that is bringing in the 10 degrees firm and the 15 degrees firm to the southeast. That could get temperatures into the high 30s potentially. Um, winds remaining from the southeast, keeping that 10 degrees firm around the country. Look how much of Western Europe's covered by that 10 degrees firm, 6th of August. It just shows. Um, what's happening, doesn't it? <laughs> it remains in place as well. Quite a few days. Low pressure moving up from the south there. That could bring some um, heavy rain and potentially some quite big thunderstorms. Um, but we do remain again very settled again. Um, go very settled. And then finally, that that um, high pressure is is lost, loses out to the low pressure in from off the Atlantic. And finally, the 10 degrees firm gets cleared away. And we move in much fresher air masses by the 15th. See high pressures returned out to our west, low pressures to the north, but winds are in from a west or northwesterly pattern. It's probably turned in a bit more cooler and showery again. But by the 21st into the final week of August, low pressure to the north, bringing in bouts of wet weather into the north of the country again. Um, so very mixed bag. Uh, but again, it's just a very mixed pattern. You see very warm and then quite cool um, spells, but I must say that August, yeah, it looks very warm. Um, into the final days of August, then, we have high pressure over and just to the south of the country. It looks pretty settled. Um, it looks pretty dry. Low pressures far to the south towards Spain. High pressures um, over the top of the country, though, and it looks pretty nondescript there. Um, so a very interesting um, look at the um, CFS run today. But what I would say from this run, then, if we're going to take it at face value, is, whoa, look at that effect. Uh, you can just see how it, how it changes. But So June looks a little bit mixed. July looks quite nice and quite warm, maybe even hot at times, with a few hotter spells, warmer spells in there, with quite a few thundery downpours possible. And then August looks like a quite a hot month at times. I mean, this is ridiculous. 3rd of August, 15 degrees firm into the country again. That will definitely get the temperatures into the 30s, just saying. Um, but it does look like quite a warm month, maybe even quite hot, and also um, quite volatile with um, areas of low pressure. Moving up from the south into that warm air could bring some heavy rain and potentially some torrential thunderstorms. But again, it's just experimental model. We're just trying to see if there's any trends and anomalies within these updates. Um, and there isn't really. <laughs> um, no, there is. There is, to be fair, um, that it looks like there will be some sort of thunder spell at some point. And it could be quite a hot spell as well. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Let's see how far we can go now. We can go into October. Well, I can tell you October looks lovely. If you want warm weather, look at that on the 22nd. Look at that 10 degrees firm into the south. Ha, look at that on the 23rd with the CFS. <laughs> 10 degrees firm into the south and the east. Oh, well, back in summer patterns on October. Wow. Well, we're not going past there anyway. Um, but, yeah. So, it looks like a decent summer if that was to come off. Um, it does look like it would be quite warm. Obviously, cooler interludes at times through that, particularly June. And at the end of August, middle to the end of August, could be quite a cool time if it was correct. But, of course, we'll have to see what happens. Thank you all very much for tuning in to today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one.